Hey, well, yesterday afternoon was pretty active. We got this viewer picture uh, from Alan in Newburgh. It's taken a while to get rid of his uh, pumpkin from Halloween, I guess, but he says he's going to get rid of that probably today. Regardless, look at all the hail on his back deck. So active weather yesterday afternoon, and we could see a repeat later on this afternoon. In fact, it's already an active start to the day. Right now, just off the coast of Ecola State Park, north of Cannon Beach, a thunderstorm has developed, and you'll notice the whites here on the map. That's snow mixing in. Snow levels are very low this morning, about a thousand feet or even lower as we're seeing out along the coast. So active weather at the coast this morning, kind of like what we saw yesterday morning with downpours around and sun breaks in the mix. Meantime, we're completely dry up and down the I-5 corridor. It'll take until later this afternoon to see those showers develop. And then tomorrow, you can see that batch of moisture offshore. That's what will increase our, our threat of rain and snow showers. So here's a look at our chances of snow in the next couple of days. Inland, I think we'll have to wait until probably Probably 2 to 5 o'clock to see some showers develop in the Willamette Valley. We'll see a mix of rain showers, some hail mixing in, and potentially some snowflakes. Not expecting accumulation. But tomorrow, a trace to maybe a half an inch possible on the valley floor. We'll have more moisture around in the morning when the snow level so low. One to two inches of snow possible above 1,000 feet. But it won't stick around long. In the afternoon, will warm into the 40s, and any snow that accumulates should be gone. Saturday looks like a really nice day, dry and sunny with areas of morning fog. So here's today. You'll notice those showers along the coast early on, dry inland, and then some showers develop by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Pretty quiet day east of the Cascades, maybe a few snow flurries. Here's the overnight hours. You'll notice those snow showers rolling through the northern Willamette Valley, southwest Washington early tomorrow, and then kind of a mix of rain and snow showers before drying out. You'll see that fog early Saturday morning clearing in the afternoon with more mixed showers arriving on Sunday. So Saturday's really the day to get outside and enjoy the weather. Snow level remain quite low with a rain snow mix possible Sunday and Monday and then just traditional rain showers at times on Tuesday before a mainly dry Wednesday.